let's continue practice test two all right we reach where did we reach question 36 you can zoom in a bit now it says 5x plus y minus 3x minus y is equal to we're going to multiply out the brackets 5 times x 5 times x is going to be 5x plus 5 times y that's 5y negative 3 times x is going to be negative 3x and then minus 3 times minus y negative 3 times negative y that's positive 3y alright x and y is together 5x minus 3x and then plus 5y plus 3y 5 minus 3 is 2 so that's 2x plus 5 and 3 8 that's 8y all right so 2x plus 8y that's c 36 question 36 is saying c right now let's go on to the next question that's question what 37 Question 37. Going to have to zoom out to see question 37. To see it clearly. Alright, so this is saying the pie chart shows how a student used 10 hours per week for studying English E. Mathematics M, French, well, they left out the M here, French F and G, geometry G. The amount of hours spent studying French is approximately, okay, French, let's see. Mathematics covers 75%. 75 degrees, English covers 100 degrees mathematics and English both of them cover 175 degrees out of the 360 so what you have 175 out of 360 or well, is half of 360 that's 180 this is close to half you know they say it's not drawn to scale this is very close to half so that's five hours gone out of math and English five hours left from geometry and French so this is 5 oh 4 plus 1 is 5 so it's 1x plus 4x 4 times 1 is 4 so that's D alright so question 37 let's make a note that 37 is D D what is 38 Question 38. Let's look at question 38. The table shows the relationship between the number of sides and number of diagonals of a polygon. What is the value of n? Hmm. Interesting. Let's delete erase these and then go on go on to it. What's the value of n? Let's look at what happens here. Four sides, two diagonals. Five sides, five diagonals. Six sides, nine diagonals. Seven, fourteen. So n could possibly be what? Eight, nine, ten. It would take a long time to draw the diagonals and draw the polygons and the diagonals and count them so we have to find out some way of figuring this out but we could start with the first one 
if you have four sides you have two diagonals all right if you have five sides five diagonals no problem but six and three six plus three is nine there may be a formula what you remember what that is and it would be difficult to remember what that would be as the number of let me see something as the number of diagonals increase you have two diagonal as the number of size increase i should say two twos four and one five five twos if you double five you get all right you have to figure out some way of getting these numbers two plus two plus one that's five four half of four then you have five six five plus five minus one that's ten minus one nine you have nine plus nine eighteen minus four seven give you four so two trees two two is four two three six and three nine two four is eight nine ten eleven twelve turn fourteen and six if you go up first of all it cannot be 10 or 11 is either 20 or 35 but based on the speed that this is growing it seems as if it will pass 20 right it seems as if it will pass 20 even if you cannot come up with a formula you don't remember the formula linking the number of sides and the number of diagonals you're studying these patterns it has to pass 20 because if you say 2 and 3 5 all right 5 and what give you 4 this is 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 4 give you 9 oh 9 plus 5 give you 14 okay i start to see a pattern if this is 14 this would be 14 plus one more than the five would be six because this is two you add th this number is going up by one three four five six so it's something plus seven 14 and six is what 20 20 plus seven 27 27 plus eight 27 and eight is what 27 and 3 and 5 right so you can see even with even without coming up with this pattern that it has to pass 20 and go to 35 so question 38 seems to be d all right so question 38 d so 38 is d all right 37 was what 37 was D. You're right. 37 was D. Correct. Let's look at 39. Uh, let's erase these. And go on to 39 and then 40. 39 says, 7 times the product of two numbers. A and B may be written as seven times the product of two numbers seven times a times b so it's f7 a b question 39 39 a right 39 is a if f of x is 3x squared plus 4x plus 5 what is f of negative 2 so that's 3 times negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 plus 5 negative 2 squared means negative 2 by negative 2 
two negative by negative is positive so this is three times positive four four by negative two negative eight plus five three four is twelve minus eight plus five right twelve minus eight is what four four and five nine so forty c forty is c all right all right we break at that point and we continue at a later date.